What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. If you guys are new here, my name is Kyle and I do all things motorcycle related. So if that sounds interesting to you, go down and hit that subscribe button and that bell icon so that way you guys get notified when I post new videos like this. So as you see, I got my 2021 Road Glide on the lift here with the camera focusing on the front wheel and tire. So if you clicked on this video, chances are you either lay down a lot of miles and now you got to replace your front tire or you ran into a flat like I did on the rear. So you are wondering how to remove the front wheel and tire. So that's what we're going to be doing here. So make sure to stick around to the end. So up close here, I have these front axle nut covers on. Um, it's just a little Allen, which you got to be careful. They do strip out relatively easily. You got to take those off if you have them. It is also a good time to go ahead and take pictures of your spacers. Um, the ABS is on the way we're looking at the bike now, the right side, or if you're sitting on the bike, it's the left side. So that's pretty self-explanatory, but if you are unsure, take pictures before you start disassembling. That way you can reference them later if need be. We're going to be loosening up this front pinch clamp for the fork. We're going to be taking off both calipers, these two bolts here. Once the calipers are off and that pinch clamp is loose, then uh, we can loosen up the front axle and slip that out, jack up the bike a little bit more, and get the front wheel right out. So I already popped that axle nut cover off because I thought it was stripped, but it wasn't. So we'll just hop right over to this side. Using a 332nd Allen. And just like that, pops right off. It's always helpful too if you take things off the right side of the bike, lay the parts on the right side, take the stuff off the left side, lay it on the left side, because that way it will help you reference where things go in the future. So the next order is going to cover up the front fender, that way we don't scratch nothing up. And then uh, I'm going to work on taking one of the brake calipers off. So I got my Crown Royale bag for the caliper and using a 10 millimeter socket, take off the two caliper bolts. Next thing we're going to work on is the pinch bolt. Go for this pinch clamp bolt using a six millimeter hex. So with the pinch clamp loose, you don't have to take it all the way out. Move over to the axle nut and using a 15 16 socket, just going to crack this loose. So using a 15 16, once you break it free a little bit, you're going to have to use a screwdriver in the other side of your axle here to keep it from turning just so that way you can kind of get it off and sometimes you don't want to take it all the way off because you might have to use a rubber mallet to just kind of pop the axle through that one went pretty easy because we had it off in the springtime and as you go to pull out just Kind of keep an eye for your spacers. So yes, by the way, we did have to take the other caliper off. So if you don't have some fancy Crown Royale bags, you can use some old microfibers like we are just to kind of keep it from banging in this stuff and nicking stuff up. 
and then you can just kind of go up and over the crash bar there. Yes. All right, so with the front wheel and tire off, now I just gotta go take it and have the new tire mounted and balanced. And we'll pick it right back up here when we go to reinstall the front tire. Three days later. What is up guys? So it is a few days later. I got my front wheel all mounted and balanced with the new tire on it. So I already got the bike jacked up. So you're gonna wanna just check the rotational arrow of the tire so you want to make sure that's pointing forward kind of just roll it in there he can lower the scissor jack down so we can line it up so this is where it gets a little tricky um, typically you want to clean your axle off and apply some new never sees um, but considering that i literally just had this off in june it's literally just as clean as it was in june so i'm not too concerned about it i want to start to try to put your axle in and at the same time you're gonna have to apply that first spacer and like I said if you are unsure and you're kind of just doing it on your own just take pictures and you won't go wrong and then once it protrudes through this side we're gonna have to get our brake caliper back over and the reason being is we have to apply our ABS <clears throat> so for the ABS sensor the flat side's gonna go into your wheel bearing and the thicker side's gonna go outwards. So just gonna kinda manipulate this in here to try to get it lined up. Just gotta wiggle it a little bit, might have to manipulate the jack. But just like that, we are through. <coughs> so put the washer on and then start the nut. I'm just gonna go finger tight for right now. When you come over here, we're gonna want this hole to stay kind of pointed frontwards because if your hole's up top, you're gonna get a whistling noise, which from what I hear is very annoying. So you just wanna be cognizant and make sure that's there. So now at this point, we're gonna be getting our torque wrench out and uh, we're gonna be tightening this down to, so the actual front axle nut there it's going to be tightened down to 70 to 75 foot pounds. The front axle pinch bolt right there will be 18 to 22 foot pounds. Brake caliper bolts there and there, well as here and here, those are going to be 20, 28 to 38 foot pounds. So I just wanted to go over that real quickly. Um, that's what the torque specs are for this 21 Road Glide. But as always, be sure to check for your specific bike the torque specs because every bike's gonna differ a little bit from year to year as well as uh, different models. So be sure to check that. So my helper over here is gonna make sure he's holding the screwdriver in to keep the axle from rotating. Over here, I am going to have the torque wrench and just kind of tighten it up till it clicks. And when it's 70 to 75 um, or any kind of range of torque spec, I always try to settle somewhere in the middle. And just like that. And then what I always do when I hear the first click, I take it off, reapply it, and just make sure it clicks again. So the front axle is good. That is torqued down to 73 foot pounds. Now the next order of business is going to be that front pinch clamp. So since the front pinch bolt is 18 to 22 foot pounds, I'm gonna settle in the middle with 20 foot pounds. And like I said, take it off, reapply it, and 20 foot pounds. So the only other thing we have to do on the front wheel installation is to reinstall the brake calipers and then I just have to reinstall my axle nuts, which I'm not going to show you guys because I really don't need to. That's pretty simple. So just a reminder, I don't know how well you guys can see this, you have this ABS bracket that is going to go on first. Then the, once the caliper's on, it will bolt over that. Um, so you wanna make sure that gets put back on. 
this time I can take my Crown Royale bag off my caliper. And this is always somewhat fun. Get those back on. That was actually relatively easy. All right. So as you can see there, caliper's on, brackets on the outside. Um, and you can kind of just play with these wires in to get it away from your fender. So like I said, these caliper bolts are 28 to 38 foot pounds, but I'm just gonna go ahead and snug them up with a ratchet and we'll apply the torque wrench. Get my torquem wrench, and because like I said, it's 28 to 38, I'm just gonna go ahead with 34 foot pounds. off place it back on good top one off put it on good and now we can just repeat this process for the other side and this side's a little bit easier because you don't have the little ABS bracket get your holes lined up And then same ordeal, tighten them up. Torque wrench, and once again, I'm going with the 34 foot pounds. Off, on. All right, so that is the front wheel installation on a 2021 Harley Davidson Road Glide. So all that is left to do is for me to just reinstall my axle nut covers, which really isn't exciting. So with that being said, if this video was helpful for you, make sure to smash that like button, comment, subscribe, and uh, make sure that bell icon is tapped so that way you guys get notifications when I post new videos like this one. Um, make sure to go follow me over on Instagram at MotoHeadKyle. I'm a little bit more active over on Instagram so I can engage with you guys a little easier. But make sure to ride safely when you can ride with us going into the winter and colder months, at least on the East Coast. But uh, make sure to ride safe and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.